Welcome back trainers. So I have an exciting episode right here. I take out a Machamp raid boss with one Gardevoir. Just one. And I'm going to continue to push the limits as the game moves forward and as we progress. So this first round right here is my first attempt. I went out and I was like, okay, this has counter and dynamic punch or yeah, dynamic punch. Wait, close combat, uh, the one charge. So I was thinking, you know what? Let's just give it a shot and see what I can do. Failed the first few times, feeling it up, but I could tell that this is doable, totally. And the funny part is, it, there wasn't clouds. It's been cloudy ever since this weather thing came out for here at Anchorage, boosting fairy and fighting type, but it was clear. So I'll, I'll have that in the end here too. I hope this motivates a lot of people to give this a try or to just push your limits. If you keep failing at something, remember, Failing is a part of success. You have to fail in order to succeed at something. And if you straight up succeed at something, well, that's awesome too. But keep in mind, if you keep trying to do something, and you, not even in Pokemon, just in life, that's part of learning. That makes you better, okay? So let's, let's, let me give you an example. If somebody's winning, 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 never loses, when they finally do lose, they're not going to know how to handle it because they've never lost before. Somebody who's lost plenty of times is adapted, learned, and understands what is going on in the situation and why they're losing, and then they better themselves to make sure they do not lose. They can take it a lot better. So what I'm trying to tell you is if you fail at something, don't worry about it. You're not bad or anything at the game or whatever you're doing in life. You just have to practice, okay? So remember that, everybody. I'm here to help you, guide you, and show you different things, and hopefully give you some motivation in this game, and possibly in real life, who knows. But with that said, um, yeah, we'll, we're going to watch all these, and then I'm going to have some Machamp raids, um, just the Gardevoir versus Machamp, and then I cut everything else out. This is the test run, remember that, right after this is going to be the actual one. So, with that said, oh man, this was crazy. When I finished this, I was just like, yes, I can't believe I did it. Yeah. Oh man, I, you know, I should do some vlogging, but it's it'll just slow my videos down. I like to keep it at this pace of upload and um, all that good stuff. And like I said, I'm doing all my work straight off my phone, everybody. So no computer. I mean, I have a piece of junk laptop, but there's no way I can do editing on it. The only thing I use it for is once I have... Uh, my video uploaded and starting to upload on my phone. I get on the computer and I switch up some things on there and make it clean and all that good stuff through the web page. Anyways, with that said, yeah, so this was fun and we're going to hop into this last one here. And remember, if you fail, that doesn't mean anything. That's just going to make you better at something, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at this.
have it, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to know, is Gardevoir a good Pokemon? Should I power this up? Your confirmation has been 100% confirmed. This thing is not... I, I, it, is, it blows everything else out of the water. You don't have a Mewtwo? Go ahead and try to go for a Gardevoir. You're not going to have all the defense the Mewtwo has, but did you just see what happened there? The only thing that was able to do this before was a Mewtwo. This is insane. And they, we didn't even have the clouds. If the clouds were on, I would have done it even a lot quicker. I can't even believe the time. Did you see that? The first time I failed, and I did it about four or five times in between. I, I cut out a bunch because otherwise this video would be like 40 minutes long, right? So, there you have it. I'm so stoked about this. This is amazing. Uh, so, if you want to know, Gardevoir, should I power it up? I'm going to tell you once again, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It is now one of the top attackers in the game. I mean, this thing is out of control. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, uh, if you if you fell at something, if you're trying to do something, not just this Gardevoir thing or something in Pokemon, maybe even in life, don't let anybody tell you that you're a, a failure or anything like that. Just keep on trying because your failures are going to make you stronger. You got that, trainers? So I'll be catching you all later. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber already, because I'm going to be trying to drop more things like this. Well, I don't try. I will do. I will deliver. Anyways, that said, it looks like we have a new all-star here, doesn't it? <laughs> so these are going to be various battles, and then I cut it out when the Guard of Court dies. And um, that's about it. Different movesets, just showing you performance, all right? So thank you for watching once again. And I will catch you all later.